is Paula Hearn and I nominated my daughter Abby O'Keefe for the Child Courage Award. I'm Abby. This is Shelley, my auntie and my godmother. This is Ruth, my auntie. That's Chloe, my wonderful sister. <laughs> that's my granny and that's my mother. We never really had anybody sick in the family. There was never, there was never really any drama. Just things were easy. And then things changed that day that Abby got sick. The doctors thought that maybe it was some sort of seizure and that she was just unconscious because of her body had just shut down, but that it would come back. And for 24 hours had passed and there was very little movement. She was coming in and out of unconsciousness. And from there really, it just, everything just went crazy. We had gone from going to work and doing things that everybody, just the normal stuff, to hospital ambulance, took us literally about an hour after the MRI straight to Crumlin. I live in Manchester, so um, I really found it difficult when I found out the news. I wanted to fly home straight away and be with her and I couldn't, I couldn't get the time off work. So when I did eventually get it off, I spent the whole summer, I came home and spent it with her and it was, it was extremely tough. I lived in Crumlin Hospital with Abby for the best part of five or six weeks. We stayed there and then we just wanted to wait for our bed to become available in Dunleary. I didn't want to take her home. I had this thing in my head that she's going to come home and she's better. I remember the day that it kind of became real because mum had only came back and she was kind of getting stuff to bring up to Abby and she was in, she was cleaning around the house and she found a certificate that Abby had and it was like um, a handwriting competition and Abby had won it and she just like burst out in tears and that's when like it became like real because like Abby wasn't around. It was nice to have her back. My two best friends up in Dunleary were Matthew, Matthew and Fintan, Fintan Smith or Matthew Smith. And uh, they were lovely. One of the families left the same day as us, which was fantastic. And we just made a promise when we left that we would, for every year, we'd keep in touch and we'd make it our business to go and meet up and have a night away. And I kind of think we all thought, you know, it's like everything you say, you'll do it. And But we did it. And only a month ago, we all went to Offaly for the weekend. Well, I can remember the day that I went home. We were in the bathroom one day getting a shower and she said, Abby, do you want to go home? And I said, yes. My granny got cupcake heaven, got four cupcakes and I had one of the cupcakes and I was delighted to see my dog and Damien. We <laughs> <laughs> had decided to get married um, about a year before Abby got sick. And when she got sick, my initial reaction was the wedding has to be cancelled. And my mom said to me, you will get married and Abby will walk down the aisle. And at this point, Abby wasn't even walking. She was in a wheelchair. So we went hell for leather and we planned it. Abby was a massive part of it. And um, it was the most fantastic time. And it was such an emotional day. Everybody cried. Um, well, I wore a clean dress and everyone was crying at me because they thought I was so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> the support that I got from my mom, my sisters, my friends, it just was so overwhelming. People just dropped everything and came to help. And I think my biggest piece of advice would be just to remain positive. I think it's so important.